Hey, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Welcome to my series on hematology and oncology. We have been talking about red blood cells for a while, and we have discussed the poikilocytes or the abnormally shaped red blood cell. They included spherocytes, dacrocytes, schistocytes, echinocytes, elliptocytes, acanthocytes, target cells, stomatocytes, etc 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 what else do we have we have red blood cells inclusions these are stuff included in the red blood cells red blood cell inclusions include whole jolly bodies basophilic stippling nucleated red blood cells polychromatophilia and lastly parasites inside of the red blood cell which is today's topic so let's get started there are two famous parasites that infect your red blood cells they are malaria and babesiosis so malaria for example here we have one of them called plasmodium falciparum these forms are called ring forms they are inclusion bodies inside of the red blood cell these are the trophozoites of the malaria. On the other hand, Babesia trophozoites appear as pear-shaped elongated structures known as Maltese cross or tetrads, because they are four, such as Babesia microti. In malaria, there is stuff called hemozoin, which is brownish deposit, this is absent in Babesia. Also, these are called gametocytes in malaria. No gametocytes in Babesia. Instead, we have the Maltese cross. So, in short, malaria, ring form. Babesia, Maltese cross. And don't forget that Babesia can be present with other tick-borne diseases such as Lyme disease, high yield. And we are set. Malaria, Babesia, these are red blood cell inclusions because these parasites infect your red blood cells. I'll see you in the next video. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard.